Sakapase, y'all. Hi, I'm Christy. I am a mother that works a full-time job trying to start a small art business. <laughs> I guess I'm not really trying anymore. I've actually started one. I've managed to launch my first shop ever online. Um, my art shop is illustratingchristy.com where I sell stationary items like bookmarks and stickers and some art prints, which is the topic of today. I've been learning a lot about this process and it's not as overwhelming as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Granted, there's been a lot of like support and um, tutorials out there that helped me through uh, starting my small art business, but I would say that I've, I've been pretty successful so far in what I've been doing. So I wanted to kind of share how I print my own art at home for the small art business in case you wanted to do something similar. My way is not like the set in stone way, but this is what works for me and my business. And then later on, I'm gonna pack some orders from our Halloween launch. Thank you everybody that ordered from our Galactic Halloween collection. I am so thankful for you guys. Thank you so much. I can't wait to pack your orders in this video. So one of the reasons why I decided to print my artwork at home is because I like having a little bit more control over the quality of the work, I guess, or like the design as well. Like there are things I do to my prints. Like I do a lot of holographic layer over my art prints which is kind of like my signature thing because i love sparkles <laughs> i'm kind of obsessed with sparkles uh and i like to round the corners which i think some places do that as well but it, it gets really pricey in my opinion so i instead of investing so much in buying a big bulk of prints um, from a company that would make it for me or print it for me. I decided I would just print a few at home and as people order, I would have them available, if that makes sense. So I, I buy as much as I can afford. So I really feel like printing at home is a technically budget friendly option than going to like a manufacturer and having them print by bulk. <laughs> So um, if you are wanting physical prints like in your hand to like send out, that is because um, I know there are other ways to do it where you are like barely involved. You just upload your artwork and somebody else takes care of everything. Um, but if you are wanting to package your orders and sending them out and having some kind of cohesive look with your product, you can print them at home or you can have a vendor do it for you and then mail it to you. Like cat print, for example, which I used to use and I still do for my business cards. But I, I feel like I was wasting money buying like 50 at a time and then I would have like maybe 10 people need that item that I... <laughs> I bought through cat print or whatever. Like I still have inventory from when I first tried to start a business a long time ago. And that was like two years ago. Uh, Cause I, I overbought, but now I get to control how much I actually print out. So I feel a lot better um, because I buy how much I need and I don't, I just, I just don't spend as much and I have more control over the look and the feel of it and how I send it out. So yeah, it's just kind of like a, personal preference for my small art business but obviously you do you i will show you though how to print your art at home whether you are selling it or if you just wanted to give it to a friend or just have it in your home somehow so the first thing that i do is i actually design my artwork on procreate if i'm doing digital art or i use watercolors if i'm doing traditional artwork oh i also use alcohol markers i forgot to mention yeah i use aluhu markers as well so I have two prints here that I've done. One is from alcohol markers and I printed that from my printer and I just added the sparkle layer over it. You can just print them out as is and not do all the extra stuff that I'd be doing, but they look really, really good. Like I love the color, it's very vibrant. It pretty much matches what I had on Procreate or uh, what I did traditionally. So for digital art, I'm, I make sure I'm designing on 300 DPI canvas and Procreate. I don't know what digital art program that you might be using, but I think it's important to at least 
do 300 dpi i work off of that and then i export to save a backup copy of my artwork i didn't want to just hit print from here because i'm not trying to print one on one sheet i want to print three on one sheet to make it four by six so i open up a four by six canvas and i paste it there and do whatever adjustments i need to do copy it and add it to a template that i have to place three on one sheet if that makes sense so that's what i'm doing here pretty sure there's probably an easier way to do this but this is how i've been going about it so far and it's been working um, so after that that's when i'm able to print my digital artwork there's three on one sheet of paper As for my traditional pieces, whether it's when I work on Ohuhu markers or watercolors, I scan them with my printer. And when I scan, I choose 600 DPI color. And from there, I can export it to my Google Drive. And then I, do, I follow the same process, by the way, um, where I add it to Procreate and I just Kind of play with the colors a little bit i want it to be more vibrant when it prints because when i scan it i feel like it becomes just a little muted so i play around with the colors and then i copy it same thing add it to a four by six canvas copy that and then i add it to my little template where i can print three prints on one sheet of paper so that's what i've been doing for my digital and my traditional pieces. So speaking of printers, I have been using the Epson ET2850. It is a marvelous, marvelous printer. I love this printer so much. It prints so beautifully. I absolutely love the colors. The ink lasts for so long. I have done two shop updates so far and I have yet to replace my ink. So that kind of tells you something because I, I was printing a lot because I was trying to have a lot of inventory for a shop launch. And so um, I'm at like almost half of the ink levels at this point. It's a great, great printer. So now that I'm going to print, right, after I, I have exported my print layout, basically the one with the three prints on one sheet, I export that so that way I can print it. Um, and save it as well because I, I like having a backup in my Google Drive. I do ha save things on my iPad, but I get paranoid, so I just have it in two places. So after I save it to my backup location, that's when I print. And I just do this through my computer. Uh, I open up the file and I hit print. This is where I choose like the print settings. So I, instead of just printing straight away, because if you do print plain paper, um, the color, it's not as vibrant. It's more like, it's very bright, almost pastel. So I want it to be truer to what I saw on my iPad and what I see on my computer. So I do premium presentation matte paper, but I will recommend you experiment with all the options on there. I am not joking because depending on the paper that you use, will define the type of colors that you get and I had to play around a lot with the different settings and I felt like the premium presentation paper or matte paper setting was the best even though I am using glossy paper just keep that in mind I am using glossy paper but in my settings I'm choosing premium presentation paper speaking of paper type uh i do use like i said a glossy paper mine is 20 260 gsm i'll put the link of the paper in my description box if you guys want to take a look at that and it, it's 260 gsm and it's glossy on both sides so i just place that in my printer and then i hit print my printer because my settings are different on my printer versus what i'm selecting on the computer sometimes it'll stop me and say are you sure this is paper that you want to print and then i just confirm it i really like this paper uh, it's 22 cents a sheet so uh it's really not expensive at all if you're just doing if you're just starting off 
and you want a budget friendly type of paper, I recommend it. I think in the future I'll try more expensive type of paper, like when my business does a lot better. But for now, as a budget friendly startup, I'm gonna use what I can afford and this is something I can afford and I have I think only just recently needed to reorder more of those and I think you get a hundred sheets for like yeah a hundred sheets for $22 all right so this next part is so extra because I'm kind of extra uh, I like to add sparkles to my artwork but you do not have to do this obviously that's an extra expense I offer two types of prints on my shop there is a regular version that does not have sparkles and then there is the one that does have sparkles. I like to have variety especially when there's something that I feel like matches my brand. Uh, I want to implement it but I don't want to like inconvenience anybody so I offer variations. So um, that's why I have the regular version versus the sparkly version and I also asked the community too what they preferred. and. I got good feedback about offering it as an option and, and it's been working out really well, honestly. So if you're considering um, adding holographic items to your shop, I definitely recommend giving them the option to not have it because there are people who really just don't care for it. <laughs> so after I add my holographic layer, this is where I take it to my paper cutter. And as you know, I am a budget friendly business, so I don't have the huge cutter thingy um i don't even know what these things are called i'm horrible with english it's not perfect okay if somebody were to take my art print and actually try to measure it it's probably off by a 16th sometimes maybe an eighth if i like did an oopsie uh <laughs> hopefully no one got that one i think i ended up giving i'm giving that one away in a giveaway probably a lot of my stuff where i'm like this is not like to my standards I am giving it away in my giveaway on Twitch. For those of you who don't know, I do stream on Twitch and I'm planning on doing a giveaway with all of my grade B shop items as well. So stay tuned for that. If it hasn't happened already, because I actually don't know when I'm uploading this video, I, I use my little paper cutter to cut my art prints. And then that's when I do my favorite part where I actually trim the corners so that way they're rounded. I just love, love, love the rounded looks on prints. Um, I don't know what it is, but they're just, it's just so pretty. It gives it like character to me. So I, um, I round the corners of my art prints and then voila, it's done. Nu fini. It's perfect. I'm so happy with this printer. I'm happy with the paper that I use in my process. It will probably all change in the future, but this is how I have been able to manage my business as somebody who works full time and is a mother, a wife, and you know, really does not have a lot of time. So this is the way I've managed to kind of streamline my process and make beautiful, pretty art prints. So I hope this was helpful. I am going to now um, work on packaging some orders for everyone that ordered from the Halloween launch. Thank you guys again. Oh, and also I am thinking about doing postcards for the Christmas launch. I'm like super, super excited about doing postcards. I can't round the corners though. I can't round the corners, unfortunately, but I'm going to design it and, and see how it goes. I'm probably going to send one out to a friend or two and make sure that it it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add that to my shop. If you guys want me to record how I do it once I figure it out, um, which I'm sure it's not that hard. It's probably similar to what I'm doing right now, but uh, let me know in the comments and then I'll make sure I do a tutorial on that as well. So I am going to go ahead and start working on the Halloween launch orders. After that, I think we will end the vlog maybe. I don't think I have much for you guys. It's probably not going to be a long one like my previous ones. I'll probably keep this one short, so I will be back.
let's see who's the first one on the top of our order list. I'm gonna just call out people. <laughs> the first order that I pick up, you're always gonna get called out. The rest of you will probably get a little prompt on the bottom so that way I'm not like yelling at you guys every time there's an order. <laughs> but at least I want to shout out the first one that I pick up. So, first one is Daphne. Ah, Daphne, thank you so much. Thank you for ordering. Love you. I appreciate it. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm going to go ahead and pack yours now.
Okay, everything is packed up. These are gonna go out as soon as possible now that they're finally packaged. So um, thank you everybody. That order, that was so awesome. I, I, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, it means so much to me that you guys are supporting me uh, since the announcement that I made back in July. I'm just so incredibly like grateful. I'm gonna probably be a broken record when I say this every time, but seriously, thank you guys so, so much. Um, I did want to give you guys an update on the shipping for international before I was doing a no tracking so that way you guys didn't have to worry about the big shipping fee. However, I found a deal with Pirate Ship and I'm not sponsored but I absolutely recommend Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship was able to, to cut the price of shipping for international like in half. So instead of paying like $23, $25, of $30 even for shipping um, to international, now you just pay $12.99, $12.99 to ship. So um, I am also trying out a uh, spend $50, get shipping free thing. I don't know how it's going to go yet, but we'll try it out. But that's also another alternative. If you spend $50, I'll just ship it to you for free. I'll pay for the shipping. So we'll see how that goes. But as of today, um, I think it's October 12th, we will be charging for shipping, unfortunately, internationally. So um, I apologize. I know in my previous video, I said that I didn't want to put you guys through a big shipping cost. I'd rather know where it is and know that it got to you safely. I just want to know that you got it and it wasn't lost in the mail. And so, um, I'm, it's just, it's going to be $12.99 internationally from now on. Anywhere, by the way, it's a flat rate. So, um, I just wanted to throw that out there. That's a huge update. <laughs> but yes, uh, that's, I think that's all the updates. Thank you to my star members. Here they are. Thank you, star members, for supporting me. If you guys want to join the star memberships every month, I send out little goodies, little starlight goodies for you, a print and a sticker. Um, this month for October, I do a sticker sheet and a print and a sticker. So I, I wanted to spoil my star members uh, this month. So please check out my star membership if you would like to join and get some goodies every month. And I also do video podcasts for my star memberships and lots of shop updates and sneak peeks and work in progress and things like that are on there. So feel free to join. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. I hope the tutorial for art prints was helpful. I hope you got to see your name shouted out on the screen when I packed your order. I plan on doing that every time I do a launch. Okay, thank you guys so much. I am gonna go eat food with the family. If you'd like, go ahead and leave a star in the comments. Let me know what made you smile today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!